Making gold AFK is just awesome, frankly, because I'm just lazy. We can get up to and sometimes even over 50k an hour, but we have to do things right. Basically, we are going to use our characters to craft something while we are AFK that is worth more than the materials we use to produce them, and then obviously sell off the new stuff from the auction house. Now, we can do this with numerous professions, but the most profitable and the easiest to get 50k an hour AFK is probably Shadowlands Blacksmithing. Firstly today, we are going to be producing Shadow Gas Ingots. This recipe requires one of each of the rare ores from each of the main Covenant Shadowland zones and four Luminous Flux. Now, this is important. You must be buying your Flux for 7 gold and 20 silver each. You can do this at either this guy in Bastion or at this person in Ardenweald. To get the full discount, you must either be exalted with the reputation from that zone or be a goblin who always get the full reputation discount. So you cannot buy this in a main city. Even if you have to use another character and mail the flux over for the discount, it's huge and makes a big difference and really adds up. I think the reason these are almost always profitable is because when people are looking at it, they are either buying fully priced flux or not looking at the very important fact that they get two ingots per craft and not one. It just makes the calculation very slightly more complicated, so I guess people seem to shy away from producing these. Either way, it helps us to make a lot more gold. So let's have a look at an example from Draenor EU, my main server. The combined cost for one of each of the ore is currently 41.5 gold. The four flux per craft always costs us 28.8 gold. So that's just over 70 gold per craft. We are selling at around 50 gold each. So we sell on the auction house for around 95 gold after the auction house cut for our two ingots, which means we are running at about 25 gold profit per craft. You can do around 2000 crafts per an hour. So that is around 50,000 gold profit per hour spent crafting the shadow gas ingots. Just a quick important point to make here. This was 50k an hour on Draenor EU, one of the highest population servers in the world. So even on servers with lots of competition, this can still be very profitable. I checked the prices on around 20 random other servers and only on one server was this not profitable and on some servers profit margins were well above the 50k an hour that Draenor was currently offering. Now, the only problem with these is that they'll probably need cancel scanning simply because they are Shadowlands materials, but I have found them to sell pretty well. Just don't overcommit and do the math beforehand so you know you are going to be profitable. You can do similar processing with Shadowlands leather working. So, for example, here Desolate Leather is 4 gold each, and Heavy Desolate Leather is 48 gold. It takes 10 desolate leather to make a heavy desolate leather, so that is 8 gold profit per craft, or around 14 to 15k an hour AFK crafting time. Smelting with mining is probably the most popular method of doing this, but we have to be careful here for two reasons. We need to make sure we calculate properly because different bars need different number of ores. Here we have iron ore, which is one ore per bar, so at 15 gold for an ore, and bars selling at 19 gold each, we are looking at around 4 gold profit per bar before the auction house cut. The fell iron, however, requires 2 ore per bar, so we would actually be making a loss here, so just be careful what you buy. I think the biggest thing you need to be careful of is having too much old world materials which are slow selling. If they were stock on the auction house, we could spend hours crafting iron ore into bars. This would at best take weeks to sell and at worst the price may crash and you end up losing out. And that is the problem with smelting ores into bars, there just isn't enough on the auction house for you to be able to do it for long enough for it to be worth it, or if there are, they just take forever to sell, with one exception and that is ghost iron. Ghost iron is still used in a ton of stuff today. 
If you've seen my Mr. Pandaria Profession Gold Making Guides, you know this already. It is probably the most in-demand bars that are not current expansion and have been since they were released. You can see the difference in quantity available on the auction house as well. We have 24,000 ore and 7,000 bars available. When we had less than 500 ore and bars for the normal iron that we were just looking at a minute ago. You can see here it's 6 gold per ore and just over 17 gold per bar. It's 2 ore for a bar so that's around 5 gold per bar profit or at around 2,000 bars an hour that's around 10k an hour AFK smelting. Not an unbelievable amazing amount but it is completely AFK and if you did this for one hour a day that would be enough to actually pay for your World of Warcraft subscription. I have so much confidence that this stuff will sell I will literally smelt it for hours sometimes when I know the price is right. Don't be completely put off from doing your ores and bars because you can definitely make some really good gold there but it's not just something you can do in as much bulk as you can with ghost iron. If you want to get even better at it, you can add the, all these materials to your favourites list and when you learn what is low and high on your server, buy the ore when the price is low and just be patient and sell the bars at the most profitable time. Anyway, thanks for watching and good luck out there goblins.